Hey YouTube, Hill Country Husker. Appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Appreciate all the subscribers. Uh, keep the comments coming. I do appreciate that. Just want to say thanks. Uh, been giving some thought here lately to uh, over-the-counter medications that I think a lot of us might take for granted in a crisis situation. Uh, got some Tenactin antifungal for the athlete's foot. Uh, some Cordaid uh, hydrocortisone anti-itch. Uh, Lanocaine, another good anti-itch. Got stuff like uh, ibuprofen you can get over the counter. What I've been thinking about, the expiration dates of these over-the-counter uh, medications. Um, how effective are they? I mean, if you're in a situation where you've got um, one of these uh, creams or some, some pain reliever and uh, you're three, four, five years down the road into a crisis situation, are they, are they still going to be effective? Uh, so I got online and tried to do a little bit of research on it. And of course, I suggest you do the same thing. Um, I found one article, uh, I found several articles actually, but one was really interesting. Uh, apparently there was a, a column uh, that appeared in Psychopharmacology today, I believe the, the publication was, that addressed this, uh, this very question. And uh, it talked about why we have expiration dates on medications, and apparently there was a law passed back in 1979, I believe it was, uh, that required all the drug manufacturers to, uh, to uh, uh, put an expiration date. And what that apparently does, uh, that date guarantees, the manufacturers guaranteeing that medication's full potency. Um, I don't know how that differs from what percentage of potency, but anyway, that's what it was, that's what the law required that a, that a, a medicine manufacturer uh, do that. Um, so they did, uh, um, they did a study, the uh, Food and Drug Administration, uh, apparently at the request of either the government or the military, maybe it was, uh, I guess the military has large stockpiles of stuff like this that they keep on hand, and if, if they toss everything out when it hits its expiration date, well, they're constantly having to uh, replace their, their medications that they keep on hand. Uh, which is, kind of puts me in the same situation. That's what I would think too. If I want to stockpile these different creams and pain relievers and antihistamines and and stuff like that, that every, whenever the medication would expire, I'd have to toss it out and buy new. And if it's only good for a year or two or three, well, what good does that do me uh, five years into um, a crisis? And I got the jock itch, and I don't have anything to treat it with. So that's what got me thinking about that. Uh, so anyway, they did this study. Uh, the uh, Food and Drug Administration did at the request of the military. And they found out that about 90% of the medications that they tested uh, maintained their potency um, um, even after, I'm, I'm reading here, trying to make sure I get this right, uh, were perfectly good to use even 15 years after the expiration date. 15 years. Okay, so that's 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 pretty that's pretty relevant. If I got something like this, or I've got a you know pain reliever, um, just because it is, has expired, uh, it'll be uh, it'll be okay to use. It'll still be effective. Um, of course, you need to make sure that uh, you store your medications properly. Uh, they need to be stored in a dry, preferably cool location, uh, and that'll help the uh, properties of the medication remain effective. Uh, you, want, you don't want to put them in a humid, uh, hot, damp uh, environment. That, that won't do them any good. So um, there are exceptions to this. Uh, I believe, uh, uh, what was it, uh, tetracycline, uh, nitroglycerin, uh, and insulin, insulin obviously, um, and some liquid antibiotics. Now, uh, I would also think that uh, you know, like cough syrups and stuff like that. I don't know if I'd be wanting to uh, to use a cough syrup or any type of liquid over a long period of time, even if it's like a a kaopectate or a, a Pepto Bismol. I think just liquid just didn't didn't really seem to sound all that good to me. Um, but 
I found this interesting and I just wanted to pass it on. Of course, I suggest you guys do your own research, of course. Um, if there is any question in your mind, talk to your pharmacist. Um, they're the ones that really know. Uh, if you have any dealings with a pharmacist, I have more respect for a pharmacist than I do many doctors. The pharmacist is the one that's trained in the drugs and their interactions and, and what they how they affect the body, etc. So anyway, do your own research, talk to your pharmacist. Uh, good news out of it is that you got stuff like this, you can stockpile this and it will most likely still be effective long time past its expiration date. So anyway, just want to pass that on. Just my thoughts. Hill Country Husker. Thanks.